is the fourth Park football show with Coach John Robinette and your host, Rusty Bird. What's this, up, guys? This episode two. Now it's game time. Your first game is this week on Thursday, and you're playing Mountain View. So what we want to do is just, first of all, I want to go back and talk about how did the the preseason go with your your practices and your two scrimmages. How did those go? What is there anything you've learned or things you hope to do better? And then we'll talk about Mountain View. So how how was camp? Camp's been good. Uh, we got a lot out of it. We identified a lot of different players. We had a, a lot of kids come out this year, so we're pretty pleased about that. Um, you know, at camp you want you want to two things. You want to ID players, know who you have, and then get out of there healthy. And for the most part. We've done both. Um, you know, it's not like the old days back when we played where you, you know, went two hours in the morning and then you came back at night and went two hours. Yeah. You know, the structure's a little bit different. It was a hot August, I'll tell you that. It, there was a good two weeks there where it was, it was pretty hot. And so we got out a little later. Um, but the kids did a great job. Um, we ID'd a lot of different kids, a lot of good competition. I mean, we value competition over everything. And... Again, I think we put together a pretty good team. Scrimmage had two really good scrimmages. Scrimmage Colonial Forge, uh, really good team. You know, they're a measuring stick team in our region, and they've got a, a solid, really good football team. And, uh, you know, they put it on it pretty, pretty, pretty good. They put it on us pretty good. And okay. But we learned a lot about who we were at that point. Um, and some of the guys stepped up. And, you know, when you play really good competition, it, it's good. Uh, and then we had a, another scrimmage against a good James Monroe team. And you could see there was a difference from scrimmage one to scrimmage two. There was improvement. It's things we needed to work on, we did. And you could see it out on the field. Um, okay. And I was really pleased with that. And then, you know, we've had a, a good week of practice this week. Um, kicked off our freshman and JV seasons on Monday night. Tonight we had a good session, even though it went a little late just because of the weather. Um Tomorrow, hoping we get out, get to do something <laughs> with the the county and the heat. But everyone's doing the same thing, so it's not like it's just us. And then Thursday, we roll down to Mountain View and play a really good Mountain View team, and I'm excited about that. Two, um, you've played them the last. This is your fourth year in a row playing them, yeah. and you you coached there for eight years. Um, what can you tell us about that Mountain View program because i still consider it a newer school but it's been around for a while now yeah. um but but what what about that program I, I love that they have the hokey colors i think that's neat but they've been really good and had a lot of talent tell us about mountain view the program and then we'll go into a little bit about what to expect this week well uh, the guy running the program is a hall of fame coach he's in the hall of fame lou sorrentino yeah he won, he won state titles at culpepper he won state titles at he won a state title at hilton he, you know, when I, I coached with him for eight years, we went to two regional finals. There's, it, it, it's always had talent and it's always had numbers. And Lou has a lot to do with that. He, he's a, just a really good head coach. I learned a lot from him, um, working for him. And they're just solid program. They've got good players, good kids. And every few years, they, they knock it out of the park with three or four really, really good players. Um, back to my days when I coached there, we had Deshaun Hamilton, Gordon Collins, who went to University of Richmond, a kid named Des Cooper, who was six foot seven, 300 pounds. I mean, we've had a lot of different guys roll through that program. And then just recently, Chris Jones, who ended up going to Georgia, Eric Menz, who's at Ohio State. Um, Ohio State, yeah. And, and going, it, it's interesting going down there, playing at Mountain View, and this goes all the way back to the eight years I was there and the six years since it's such a cool environment. It's a throwback kind of environment to, you know, I grew up here in Prince William County and it was the only, you know, there's only three high schools over here and you were the only show in town on a Friday night. Yeah. And you'd have, I mean, having a thousand or 2000 people there wasn't a big deal. It's just what you did. And that's kind of what yeah. Mountain View is about. And it's, it's a great environment to go down there and play. So we're excited and looking forward to the challenge. They're a good, solid football team. Um, they're going to be well drilled and well coached and play a lot of guys and we're going to have to meet a challenge for sure. As I, I, one of the things you uh, you touched on with your preseason and your scrimmages is you 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 had a challenge and I think that's good because that's going to prepare you right off the get. You have a tough, tough first game, but that Colonial Forge, which is a rival 
of, yeah. um, of Mountain View and Colonial Forge is in the same region with us now. Mm -hmm. um, I, I know when I've coached um, and when we've had good teams, it's hard, no matter how much you try to drill and talk, but like if you're winning and everything is all, it's hard to be able, if I can't point out some things and, and make you realize like, oh, you no, you didn't do this perfectly and it's not going to always be that easy. So I'm, that's one of the things I'm sure you got from the Colonial Forge game. And that's that's good. You know, you, you've rolled through those scrimmages and it's like, ah, it's hard to, to coach. But Yeah, no, I mean, I was, I was really pleased. I mean, I wish we would have played a little tougher, a little bit better, of course, um, against Colonial Forge. But it was a nice eye opener, I think, to a little bit. You know, we've been getting a lot of good publicity and people think we're going to be pretty good. And, I'm okay with that, with, you know, expectations comes honors and that kind of thing. But it was a nice eye opener for us and it didn't cost me anything other than a scrimmage, you know, and, you know, Thursday's going to be a big test about where we are mentally and, and, and keeping our focus and doing what we need to do in order to compete and win a game. From those scrimmages and we'll get back to Mountain View, but from those scrimmages, did anybody kind of show you something you didn't expect or, or like, who kind of, oh, wait a minute. Uh, right. Not that we didn't expect, um, but, you know, quarterback play. Carson Fossum really solidified that he that we're running with him to start the season for sure at the quarterback spot. Right. Um, and, you know, it's been nice. We've got uh, Antonio Jones has been running the ball a little bit more, and he's, he's pretty electric when the ball's in his hands. And, uh, you know, Landon Hunt and some of the guys who we thought who they are, especially against uh, James Monroe, they were who they said they were going to be. And that okay. was, uh, that was important uh, that they showed up and we, you know, young guys we got, you know, we're said in the last one, we, we got some young guys playing in the DB position and they, they did a really solid job and a good job for us. So, so like I said, we're, I think right now I, I qualify us as a solid football team. Uh, I'll have oh, to see great. if it's like come Thursday, but I, I'm feeling pretty, pretty confident this morning. With with this with this game <clears throat> against Mountain View, <clears throat> what can uh, people that haven't seen Mountain View or can't get out there? What style of play do they have? Uh, so so and, and how does that match mesh with your defense or the offense you're going to be running? Yeah, Mountain View, and again, I learned this from Lou. Uh, they're going to play good defense. They're not going to give up big plays. They're going to make you drive the field. Um, they're going to play really good special teams. They're going to field position. He's going to take his shots. Uh, you know, one of the best play call, you know, last episode we talked about stringing plays together and calling plays at the right time. Coach Sor Lou, Lou Sortino does a good job of calling that right play at the right time, whether it's reverse. Uh, I remember years ago we are playing Colonial Forge, and it was a big game, and he pulls out hitch and pitch. And I hear that on the headset. I'm like, whoa. He's like, we got it. And then, boom, just changed the scope of the game. And it's just like, man, what a call, you know? Um, and he has that. And it's just, I say he has that knack, but he has a ton of experience. He knows what he's looking for and how he's doing it. So you got to be solid all the way across the board or he'll pick you. He'll pick on you a little bit. Um, and like I said, they're just going to be a solid, well-drilled football team that's going to be tough to beat at home. And we've got to meet that with the same intensity same precision we can't give up stupid penalties we can't turn the ball over or we're going to put ourselves in a hole special teams will be big we got to be even on special teams um in order to give ourselves a chance yeah you know over the last it looks like over the last three years they've only lost five games like they were undefeated last year and going into the playoffs and in other years, you know, they lost one regular season game until they lost in the playoffs. Like, it's a good team. You yeah. know, they moved up from five where they, you know, where they they they, they lost to Stonebridge, a, a great Stonebridge team uh, two years ago. But they're in six now. So um, you, you, you're playing somebody, not in your district or in your county, but you could see them again in the region. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the only region game we play that's not district. And we actually started this cycle when they were in D5. When they were five, I, right. Yeah, I'm not a big fan with, well, it's going to change now that they're getting rid of PowerPoints. But when it comes to like how PowerPoints are counted, it doesn't really help you to play other in-region teams. 
because okay. if Patriot plays us, Garfield, and Potomac, if we win, we lose, the points cancel out because Potomac and Garfield played them too. Um, okay. You know, I, I guess it was my second yeah. year we played Hilton and we beat them in the final game of the year. And they were, I think they were five and five and we were five and five and they got in the playoffs because they beat Mount Vernon. And they were the only team that played Mount Vernon in our region. And Mount Vernon that year went eight and two. So they picked up all these rider points that were uncommon. Yeah. So I, you know, I, I do my best to try and stay out of the region mm -hmm. uh, just for that reason. Cause we, and I think last year and two years ago, we ended up improving our seed based on the fact that, you know, we played these teams that know we played Woodgrove and Woodgrove won seven and three. And we're picking in yeah. Briar Woods a couple of years. And they went, you know, one year is ridiculous. The, uh, like the first seven games, the combined record of those seven teams were like 68 and two at one point. It was ridiculous how good they were. <laughs> um, and it, but it helped us in the long run. Hey, you're playing good teams. You want to play good teams on the field yeah. too, with the, the way the PowerPoint system is based. It helped us that way too. But, you know, we'll see next year because the PowerPoints go away. They're, the VHSL has kind of kicked it down to the regions to figure out. I how saw that, play. yeah. Um, and I'm not 100% clear on how they're doing it yet. No one's put anything out. So that'll be different. Okay. No, I, I appreciate you explaining that. Coach, I see your schedule. So you're playing Mountain View. You're also playing Riverbend. Um you're playing Verina and Alexandria City. I think they're going to be a little stronger this year. It's a pretty good non-conference schedule. I, I know Verina should help in the points, <laughs> getting those points from another region and even, you know, different classification. Overall, overall, if, again, I did this thing at the end there, at the end of the year, what would you consider success? Like you were five and five, six and four, six and four, right, coach? Yeah. With this schedule, you're setting yourself up. I like, I really like, you know, have some tough, those tough non conference games. I think this year the district will be really, really strong. Um, but is there a number that you're like, I, of course, you'd love to go 10 and 0, but you know, seven and three, uh, is it eight and two? Is there anything that you, you all feel like, oh, this is uh, the mark we're looking for? Not anymore. At this point in the season, and this is gonna sound kind of cliche, but it's all about Mountain View. Let's go one and zero, baby. Like it, okay. it, it, it's it's what we're into. What's in front of me, uh, and okay. if you, you, that's where you get in trouble with our schedule. One, we got four good ones on the schedule. Now you know we play our our four and then our six district games, and you you can't it's just bad news with the teams we play to start looking around and start judging records and things like that it's fun to do in the off season but right now it's a uh, you know we got a mountain views in front of us and that's what we're we're rolling with okay yeah no i feel you i feel you in there hopefully you'll get a lot of support to travel down from prince william down there to stafford to support you in this first game um, you talked about your quarterback play. Um, how does it, does the team look their focus this week? Do you feel like, hey, you're seeing like, okay, this is where we want to be just a day or two out before our game? Yeah, I mean, I, I loved our energy and effort tonight. Like I said, we had to back practice up because of the heat. And when you get young people, sometimes a little bit of change isn't, they respond differently, but the guys responded great today. Um, we have one of our assistant coach, Coach Pulley, does a great job kind of framing kind of the message of the day, the message of the week. And he did a great job of that today, talking about adversity a little bit. And we we had a good, really good practice today. Now we got to clean some things up um, and we got to continue to work on our special teams. But I think I like what we're doing tomorrow. Who knows with another heat day, whether we're going to be able to get outside or get off. I mean, it's it's tough on a short week. And we also have back to school night, so we can't go late again. Right, um, right. But it, that's okay. Everyone's got everyone's got something. <laughs> so it's right. not like the weather's extremely different down in uh, down there. And I mean, yesterday the same thunderstorm that rolled through Monday for us at two was down in Stafford until five. So who knows whether they got on or off? So you know, I only coach one team. I can only control one group, and uh, I think. I like where we are, and I think we need to string some days together and 
peak on Thursday. That's right. Still got probably a long night. You'll probably, whether it's looking at film or just sitting around with your family or whatever, but I appreciate you taking the time to come on the show. And I know it, I've already heard some, some great things from the fans out there. They like this show. It's going to continue to grow. But I know I learned some things tonight, so I know uh, some of those Forest Park Bruin fans have as well. So anything else, Coach, you want to leave us with before we sign off? No, man, you know, if you're interested in coming down, let's get a good crowd there wearing some uh, blue and green uh, to offset some of those hokey colors um, and see yeah. if you can match their crowd. And, uh, you know, we'll do our best to give you something to cheer for. And I All appreciate right. You know, I, I enjoy this time with you, man. All right. Well, thanks, Coach. I enjoyed as well. So for, for my man, Coach John Robinette, I'm Rusty Bird. This has been the Forest Park High School Football Show. We are out. Go Bruins!